BART riders have been complaining about a recent phenomenon. When it rains, BART cars slow down way down. Yeah, our investigative unit was first to report this about BART's fleet of the future being plagued by wet weather breaking issues. Tonight, NBC's Jackson Vanderbecken shows us what could be an expensive problem. It's gotten better, but like it's hot, there are delays, it's cold, there are delays, rain, there are delays. And while East Bay BART writer Robert Freeman says he's noticed an improvement this year, he's still recovering from last year when BART's system all but melted down in heavy rains, leaving riders crammed into shorter trains running at half speed as engineers scrambled to deal with weather-related wheel flaps. My understanding is that we have, uh, we're doing better this year with respect to delays due to that braking system. Uh, we are still having flat wheels. In fact, BART board member Deborah Allen told us during one recent storm, five trains ended up with wheel flats on the A-line between Lake Merritt and Fremont. BART officials say that when wet conditions cause the wheels to spin or slide for too long on the tracks, sensor trigger automatic emergency braking. But those emergency brakes lock up the wheels and wear flat spots on them. So trains have to go in for maintenance to grind down those spots and true up the wheels. As a stopgap, BART has slowed down its train system-wide when it rains. Still, since November, a total of 385 cars have sustained wheel flats. The cost to repair? BART says it's less than $1,000 per car, $7,280 for an entire 10-car train. But that only accounts labor. BART's fleet superintendent estimated in this internal email that the total cost of repairing a 10-car train exceeds $80,000. Whatever the final cost, trains are under an existing or an extended brake warranty. When the warranty is up, that is the point when BART starts absorbing the costs of the truing of the wheels. How long the extension will last isn't clear, but BART documents indicate the original two-year warranty will be up for the entire new fleet by 2028. In the meantime, BART officials are now looking to GPS tracking technology. The idea is to verify train speeds are safe and override automatic braking when it's not necessary. The train maker had previously advocated GPS, but documents released to us under the Public Records Act show BART rejected that very solution less than three years ago, saying the case for its safety hadn't been proven. BART decided then to accept more trains, assuring regulators in a 2022 memo that slowing speeds had significantly decreased flats. BART refused to make fleet officials available to answer questions about braking and GPS. Right. As for Allen, she says she only learned about BART's wavering on using GPS to track train speeds from our investigative unit. It is, it's frustrating that I, as a director, am learning about all of the uh, decisions that were made back in 2021 uh, to essentially abandon an interim solution. With ridership flagging after COVID, BART has to hope passengers like Freeman will remain loyal despite all the headaches. Driving. Freeman says he's willing to do that. I'll take the delay, uh, but because, I mean, commuting from here to the city in the rain with a lot of people in accidents is way worse than trying to just deal with some delays. Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC, <laughs> Bay Area News. Weather.